Welcome to this conversation of the Morning Tea Marketing Misses, where we offer valuable tips to small business owners and sole traders to help them improve their ability to be seen online and also to be able to help them communicate more effectively to reach a larger audience. Our Your host, our host today, are the, same, the same people we usually have a conversation with. We may be missing one though. Narelle is our accredited accessibility auditor and she's having little internet problems today. So we may or may not see her and be able to contribute. There's myself and I help businesses get seen and get heard and improve their brand. There, Kate Smith is our fabulous graphic designer and Jan Roche's business is BizConnect Design and Over 50s Help. Hey ladies, welcome. Oh yeah, we've lost we've lost Narelle completely. So never mind. <laughs> this is the three of us. <laughs> she might jump back on soon, hopefully. <laughs> She definitely might do that. I will keep a, an observant watch out for her to try and get online. Kate, you were going to be talking about networking and regard mm -hmm. to branding and a whole lot of things because you are a super networker. <laughs> I do network a lot um, <laughs> and I do love branding. So, yeah, I'm going to talk about how you can enhance your brand when you're networking. First, I want to talk about consistency, and you touched on this, Janine. Showing up, that builds your brand. If you show up with your branding materials on point every time, so maybe you have a banner, this is an excellent idea, your business cards that you're flashing around. If you have brochures that can be put somewhere in the room, some places have this, some others don't, um, bring some along just in case if you're not sure. If you have that consistently every week, this is going to enhance your brand. The way psychology, human psychology works is the more we see something, the more we trust it. You might not have a good reason to trust something, which, you know, makes it sound a bit like a, um, a charlatan act, but it, it's just the way our brains work. The more we see something, the more we go, oh, that must be safe. Therefore, I can trust it and... I'm going to be more open to working with that or dealing with that or being around that. So make sure you're seen, not just yourself, but your visual branding. If you don't have a banner and you're networking all the time, I suggest you go get one. Um, they can be very cheap. Um, if you want one designed, I do that. If you don't have business cards, um, I would get on that one right away. It's the easiest way to give somebody all your details and that they can get in touch with you. And it's got your branding on it. If you can have one with your, fo your photo, your face on it as well, that can be super effective because if you're networking, you're meeting people in person, they're more likely to remember you and your image rather than your logo. So if you can hey, put just a... Kate, I was going to bring up about that, the yeah. business cards, because I, I'm going to events and people say, well, we don't do business cards now. We just connect on LinkedIn, you know, and I'm a LinkedIn trader, so I'm very big into that. But I find the problem with it is I forget where I've met somebody and I actually don't mm -hmm. have their card to take home with their yeah. photo on it, like you just said, mm -hmm. and it's a reminder. To connect the dots. I often, because there's a lot of um, digital business cards and people mm -hmm. go, oh, just scan my QR code or tap my card or whatever it is. And that is great. That's a super handy tool to get your details digitally into their phone or so they can access your content. It's awesome. But if they forget your name or your business name later, they have no chance of finding you at all. None at all. And I've so many times gone, oh, who was that guy? I know he'd be perfect for this thing. I need to refer him to someone. And I look through, this is one of the stacks of business <laughs> cards. <laughs> and eventually I find them. And I'm able to get in touch with that person. So having a physical card, I think, is still really relevant, especially in networking. Um, definitely have the tap options or the scan options. I often put a QR code on my clients' cards. If you want to make your own QR code that goes to your link tree or your LinkedIn or wherever you want it to go, um, qrcodemonkey.com. Yeah. Free QR codes, very easy to use. Just grab one, throw it on there, put your photo, put your details, business card, done. Um, I wanted to talk about another couple of things Can I just do a little too. thing on cards still just while we're... Yeah, yeah, go for it. When we were locked, out, locked up for the COVID thing, 
I went through a drawer where I had a, I had, a, well, by the time I put them all in a spreadsheet, it was well over a thousand cards. Wow. Okay. Your stack is just a little minimal thing. That I <laughs> <laughs> it's only one of the stacks, Janine. <laughs> all right. So I went through that, all, every single card, entered all the data, reached out to every single one of those people on LinkedIn. And wow. a few were quite a few years old from when I was working as a GM and I, you know, I'd made all these connections within corporate but most of them I was still able to connect with if, you, if you're doing that through a digital thing or a, you haven't got that that's that's tangible don't throw them in a drawer and wait for five years to to do that <laughs> yeah it really it was amazing just how those connections again it was oh hi we've been connected for a few years and I found your business card I'm locked locked up I'm you know enjoying it and it was great I had some great conversations so yeah all of the things you're saying about cuts is perfect yeah, yeah I think still very, very relevant I love the digital tools really cool yeah, and but... there's some really good um apps for your phone where you can take a photograph of a business card and yes. that you've got everybody's details right there I mean QR codes are great these apps are great so you don't need to be carrying around a bunch of cards when you've got something so handy that's just on your phone. Mm -hmm, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Well, I want to finally talk about some other visual parts of your brand, especially when you're in-person networking. And even if you're not, if you're on a video call with 20 people up on the screen and you're kind of scanning through all those people, if you see somebody with a big smile on their face, how much more likely are you to connect with that person? Yeah. You're going to go, oh, look at that guy. Mm -hmm. He's happy. That's fun. Yeah. I wonder what he's so happy about. He must be a cool guy. It's once again, our psychology, there's no reason why a big smile should make somebody more trustworthy or more enticing to get to know, but it does. It okay. definitely does. So when you go out networking, it's it's easy to be kind of nervous and in your head. And especially like I am an introvert, I network a lot and nobody will believe me, but I get my energy from being my, with myself and being alone, not from being out in a crowd. So sometimes I get there and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I have the energy for this, but I still make the effort to put a smile on, engage with people, seem inviting, welcome people. I have my own networking group where I welcome people so that make sure everyone feels welcomed. And I think the other thing I want to say is how you dress. And a lot of people discount this, um, sometimes the blokes especially, but this is super important. And I'm not saying you have to suit up. It's about matching your brand. I know Janine has many, many things that she wears that are on brand for her. And I'm not today. It's still a bit warm sitting oh, in the office. <laughs> but, yes, I've got an orange full, wardrobe full of orange dresses. <laughs> Perfect. So you can pick your colour that represents you. It might be your brand colour. It might just be the colour that suits you so much and you wear it all the time and people will remember you like this. It could be that you wear a really nice suit. You're always suited up and beautiful. I know, like, some real estate agents and lawyers who just always look super put together. And that's yeah. part of their brand. Um, it could be that you're casual. Maybe you're a trade business and you want to be really approachable and you want people to know that you're a tradie. Uh, you want to be wearing a polo shirt or even something more casual so that people know what your business is. That helps your recognition. It just comes down to how you want to be perceived and creating that consistency in how you dress each time. You know, you look at Steve Jobs and he had his uniform that he would just wear every day. People knew him by this. Also cuts down your time as well. If you just have to wear the same thing each time, I it's to wear very it. easy. <laughs> and it's interesting, isn't it? Because the other thing that wearing... Welcome those back, Narelle. I'm back. <laughs> oh, that was a bit frustrating. But I'm back. But the interesting thing too with the clothes, as you said, that predictability also, and particularly for people with like myself, I always know, and I love your beautiful hair, Kate, because <laughs> you're the only person I know with that colour hair. So when I sort of get a bit close and I think, oh, hang on, that looks like Kate's hair. <laughs> That's that ginger I know. <laughs> yeah, it's not that. It, it, it's not 
that case, it's not. It's the um, the awareness. One of the things with people, uh, like you think about it, your red for stop, green for go, things like that, the predictability of it. And like for Janine with the orange and like you, Jan, with your uh, polo shirt, you know, logo, it is so recognisable. Yeah, it makes it's point. important. Um, one, of, one of the things that we do here, obviously, is we've branded our backgrounds. Thank you very much, Kate, for putting them <laughs> together. And yeah. I know whenever I'm online somewhere, I have my business background. And yeah. that makes a big difference too because that's on brand mm -hmm. and it's, it's, it's consistent every yeah. single time I'm online with someone, it's, I've got that background on. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up too. For online networking, you can still have your banner in and your I, background. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I know my every meeting I go to, um, yeah. I'm either wearing the BizConnect shirt and I have the big logo across my back so no one can miss it. <laughs> and I've had so many, so many people say, I've seen that before. I know that business name. Great. Um, and so I'm either wearing that or the over 50s health. Um, so it, it's no one can confuse who who I'm representing or what I'm representing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's like yeah. me. I come with a guide dog. Yeah, and there you go. That's part <laughs> of your brand. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cass was. When I had Cass, for those that don't know, I had a beautiful black girl. She was beautiful. And Cass is retired now. And now I've got a big blonde guy, Rocket. And He's just there and Cass was just there. But I also try to do things like I love yellow. So I tried, I'm I'm trying to find yellow clothes. Very hard to find. But mm -hmm. yellow is such a happy, bright, cheerful, welcoming colour as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's such, you know, it's those little things, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. And the consistency of them. Like you said, if you could wear yellow every time, people would remember that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, really good great ideas and you know whether you are doing a a hand card handing out to someone or you are doing it digital it's the crit it's that look that consistency i love that you brought that up kate mm -hmm. it's something to reinforce fabulous yeah. there's some really anyone... great ideas there yeah uh, anyone got anything they want to add thinking just I've... follow kate's style yeah. <laughs> no, you gotta have your own style. Everyone's business is so personal to themselves. They gotta have their own. Yeah, True. like I can never cut off my hair because now that's part of my brand, Narel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's is, got their thing. That is a really good point as well. Is how you present, either in a in a good mood or a, you know, whether you are. It, so a friend of mine keeps telling me just that some people have an automatic down, you know, frown, and some people have an automatic smile. And if you find you've got the automatic frown, then you need to be smiling. But how you bring yourself into a network, and you mentioned it before about looking around and they're seeing somebody smiling when you're, mm. particularly when you're online, you can identify with them. But it's that energy that you bring into that space. So if you're always full on power energy, and you're not one time, people then look at you and go there's something wrong yeah. there yeah. it's yeah. inconsistent where you know you might be more subdued and sit back but it's that's you you've got to be you mm. yeah and if you are a more subdued person you're not going to be over effusive and try to fake it you're going to be laid back but that's also part of your brand and that can even tie into what you do as a business because the type of person you are kind mm. of means that's why you started the kind of business you started is because it was it suited you so yeah, don't don't go out of your way to change anything personality wise, but yeah, a smile helps, and I think that's pretty universal. And then yeah, be yourself and show up consistently. No, that's great. Thanks. So we as a group should be drawing heaps of people because every time we record a video, <laughs> we're always smiling and laughing. So there you go. <laughs> I know a well, giggle. It's really interesting when Narelle puts it up on YouTube and, and I put it up on my YouTube channel as well. I look I look at the things and go, the choice of three, well, it's easy. We just laugh. Yeah. Whatever. It may be one of us is looking a bit weird. I might not do that one, you know. <laughs> 
Oh, it's awesome. I don't even care as long as we're happy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, thank you so much for that, Kate. That was really good information on networking. And that's another conversation for Morning Team Marketing. This is so glad that you could be here. I'd love to, we would love to, you to comment and let us know what you thought. Any ideas that you have about networking would be appreciated to add to the conversation. Look for our YouTube channel, as I mentioned, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Bye. All right, I'm going to get changed. Yep. yep.